You know, there's one thing you can expect from a Dave Leach film, and that is epic action with a massive finale. One of David's hesitations about getting on the project at all was, how am I going to do action? We're in a super small space, and there's only so many things you can do in that way. And I was like, isn't that an opportunity? <laughs> I think for us at 87 North, we're up for the challenge of making bold and original films within the action genre. And I think that was something that was really exciting about Bullet Train. Ah. <laughs> I am ready. So what we do is we start with the director, we read the script, we talk about where he wants to go with it, how he wants each character, and we all conceptualize. We get in the stunt gym and we make what's called stunt viz. We shoot our own mini movies of these fight scenes and we pitch them to Dave, the director. Putting the actors through the training, they were all really excited about it and it paid off when we got to set. Can we just take your time out here? Sweet! When it comes to David Leach in action, yes, you're in the best hands possible. So you've got 87-11, and one of the best stunt teams there is. So you almost don't even worry about that. You're always leaning on their expertise. I was so pleasantly pleased to see the design. Dave's got a cast of very talented stunt inventors, and there was this bit of humor designed into the fights. These guys already had it put together. All we had to do was learn it. We're good! There has to be acting in the action. Let's talk about something like the Lemon vs. Ladybug fight. They're sitting at a table in a quiet car that's gold. How do you fight while being quiet? So we thought, let's put them in uncomfortable positions so that if she catches them, they have to look buddy-buddy. And So instead of just punching, punching, punching for no reason, we do them in rhythms. Pop, 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 pop. Pause. I don't know if you ever had to fight someone uh, for your life quietly. The choreography, it took me about two weeks to learn this fight. I'm just gonna tell you, the most distracting part of the fight is Brad's hair. Like, he just has this golden wheat, flowy, beautiful Vidal Sassoon fucking hair. I've never seen anything like it. Well, we made it through. We did, man. Way to go, buddy. It was fucking good, man. Oh. Each fight is unique to the character, and I think we want to use the fights to define character. Sort of the fight with the wolf, we've set him up as like someone who's madly in love and lost this love of his life, juxtaposed to Brad's character who has no idea what is going on. And you design a fight that is telling that story. I come here for revenge. Bad Bunny, what a guy. Came in here humble, hardworking, and ready for anything. He was a sponge to absorb fight choreography quickly. No, but in verdad, fue increíble. Eh, el entrenamiento, los días de entrenamiento con, con los muchachos fueron intensos, por lo menos para mí, pero me lo disfruté. I will never stop coming for you. What? Wrong as far as you like. I will find you. Why? I, dude, I don't even know you. I think my favorite fight in its simplicity is the fight with the Hornet. Just because of the comedy and the surprise and the unexpected nature of what's happening. Hornet stings, bitch! To come here and really feel like, oh my gosh, I'm like relaxing and playing. And I think Brad makes that really easy. He's very playful in his work and is, and is relaxed in his work, which we're making movies. Hey, bitch. One little prick from this, you know what happens. Yes. Your blood congeals, clogging your veins. You bleed out of your Fuck I said yes! Using action to define characters, it only sort of makes those scenes more satisfying for the audience. Sometimes action is just for action's sake, and we certainly didn't do any of that on Bullet Train. I think it's boldly original and wildly creative, and there is a shock and a surprise and a twist around every corner. <laughs> I love the final product of Bullet Train and seeing it all come together. Uh, I think I constantly say to my team, my team says to me, and I'll say to Dave, I can't wait to watch this movie. And the collaboration. I think when I'm watching this movie, I'm watching more than just the movie. I'm watching the energy, the effort, the camaraderie, the fun, the struggle that we all had that we put into it. It's going to kick ass. There is such a diverse, fun cast. There's highs, there's lows, there's danger, there's fun. So I think all that put together made Bullet Train a great ride for all of us.